With Ryzen 5 having launched this month, as well as the RX 580 launching yesterday, I want to see how cheaply we can put together a PC with the intention of streaming and gaming all on one system, using in my mind some of the best parts for their cost in the industry right now. Take that Intel and Nvidia. So before we get into the parts list, I do want to point out a couple things. First off is the EVGA power supply does have a $10 rebate on it right now, but that is the only rebate with this system. The other thing I want to point out is that the uh, Radeon RX 580 is uh, $220 on Newegg. However, PC Part Picker doesn't have that particular graphics card in its system yet. But if you do follow this link, you will find that it is, in fact, $220 for the 8GB version. So let's go ahead and look at the other parts. First up is the Ryzen 5 1600 from AMD. Uh, the new Ryzen 5 processors are extremely good values for the money you're investing, especially in multi-threaded applications like streaming. Now, if you're curious to see how the Ryzen 5 1600 handles gaming and streaming at the same time, I'll link a card above. I actually did a video on this. Uh, it was a live stream where I tested a few different resolutions on the output and uh, found that the Ryzen 5 1600 does in fact do a very good job, especially if you are uh, willing to play with the settings a little bit to get a smooth stream going. Now the Ryzen 5 1600 presents better value than the 1600X for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's gonna overclock just about as well as the 1600X at $30 cheaper. But then additionally, the stock cooler that comes with the 1600 actually does a very good job of keeping the CPU not only quiet, but maintaining a stable overclock of, I found, over 3.8 gigahertz. Now the 1600X does not come with a cooler at all, meaning you need to provide your own. So those two factors combined make me sort of lean towards that 1600, especially if you're on any kind of budget, and reinvest the money you save into a better component elsewhere, uh, especially in the graphics card department. Now I don't want to say a whole lot about the motherboard, but I would choose the ASUS Prime B350 Plus, and that's because I've always had great luck with ASUS boards, but if you're uncomfortable with that decision, you can always replace it with a different B350 board. Just keep in mind to do your research, and also you shouldn't be paying more than about $100 or $110 at the most for a current B350 board. For memory, I would select the G-Skill Trident Z series, a 16 gigabyte kit running at 3000 megahertz. I found in my own testing and in research online that the Trident Z kits typically play fairly well with the Ryzen processors, and we know that Ryzen really likes those higher clock speeds on the RAM. So by getting a 3000 kit of the Trident Z, which does not even cost much of a premium over something else like a Corsair LPX kit, I think you'll find that the experience of getting your processor to 2933 megahertz, if not higher, becomes very easy. Plus, it's great looking RAM anyways. For the graphics card, we're using the aforementioned Gigabyte Radeon RX 580. This is the 8 gigabyte version, and this is the cheapest RX 580 that I've seen at launch at just $220. Also, because there is no reference cooler design here, the dual fan setup should allow us to keep the 580 extremely cool, even under load, and it should allow us to get a little bit of an overclock on our graphics card. Now the 580s are perfect for anybody that plays at 1080p gaming. They will give you pretty much maxed out settings in any modern game, but also if you are somebody that wants to play at 1440p, if you're willing to notch down a couple of the settings, especially things like anti-aliasing that eat up resources rather quickly, then the 580 is also good for that. Storage is one of those things that you can replace with whatever you feel comfortable with. If you want to save money, here then go with a hard drive that has more capacity but will cost much less right now i would recommend a 480 gigabyte solid state drive for 127 dollars now this is one of the cheaper ones i've seen so by all means if you find a solid state drive of equal capacity that is cheaper then you should definitely hop on that because this is just an entry level ssd however it will give you a great experience as i have one of these running in my own system the case is another place that you could potentially save money. I would recommend the S340 uh, case from NZXT for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's a very low-key looking case, which appeals to my senses of simplicity. 
but also it gives you great cable management options for the price of just $70. Now, obviously, if you want to save a little money, you can get cases for roughly half this that would support all your hardware. You just may have to work a little bit harder at making the case itself look good. And that S340 will come in handy when we consider the power supply I selected, which is a non-modular EVGA unit rated at 80 plus bronze and giving us 450 watts. Now that's gonna be plenty of power to power this system and give you a little bit of upgradability down the road, but being non-modular makes it very important that that S340 has the power supply basement that we can stuff any extra cables down in and still make the system look good overall. So that is the quick rundown of this gaming and streaming computer, which is meant to do both those tasks at the same time and still give you a good experience both on the end of gaming and on your uh, viewers end of the stream. So if you do have comments though on how I could improve this build or get more bang for your buck, that sort of thing, I am very curious to see those comments down below. Let me know what you would change to make this build better overall. So guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things down below are super helpful to me and my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag just for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple of videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.